Watch you guys. So we all know that Linus Tech Tips had his YouTube channel deleted and he was hacked. So if you don't want to get hacked like Linus Tech Tips, then this video is for you. So I receive emails every single day about product reviews and other types of other types of emails that may be offering sponsorship or something along those lines. You can see here this email has not been addressed to me directly, but it's asking me, do I want to engage with them about advertising for such games and things like that. It can also be sponsored ads or mid-roll ads or something like that they're offering. And again, there's no attachments on these emails. And you may be thinking, well, that's not dangerous. But once you engage with them, this is when they will send you a second email with an attachment to it, which is an agreement or contract or something like that, or terms and conditions where you have to agree to it. You can see I sent an email to them just to get a response. And then when they responded, Along comes this agreement contract, which is says agreement contract PDF dot PDF, which tells me they've renamed it. And again, it says we will pay you eight hundred dollars and it will say a bunch of other stuff. Right. So once you click on these, these are going to have some sort of red line stealer, which is called Redline for short. It's a malicious program which can be purchased on the black market for malicious use. Now, Redline can be used to steal information and infect an operating system uh, with other malware. And cyber criminals will attempt to infect computers with malicious software such as Redline to steal people's login details and information so they can either use it to create revenue for themselves or cause destruction like someone's YouTube channel like Linus Tech Tips. Now, Linus's channel is very big and it has a lot of uh, employees and they probably have access to areas which they shouldn't be having access to. Now he could have, or someone could have uploaded the file to say virus total. This will be a PDF file, but it's not a PDF file. It will be some sort of executable file with a program in it, which once you upload it to virus total, you can see it tells us that this is a file, which is called redline. It's a Trojan file, which basically steals your information. So once this file was clicked on, the malicious hacker places himself in between your computer and the website server while you're engaging in active computer sessions. In this case, it was Linus's uh, YouTube session where he logged into YouTube, did some sort of activity, and then he logged out and that session was captured in his session cookie. So basically the time between the first time you log on and also the time you log off, that session is going to be copied. This will be your session ID. So to put it in a simple way, the hacker was actively monitoring everything that someone or Linus was doing that happens on that account. And they can even kick you out of that account, which they did kick Linus out if you watched his video. At that point, he got kicked out of his uh, account. They're monitoring everything that's going on. And uh, basically, I'll leave a link down there for some of this information. You can read up about it. It's quite in-depth, so have a good read about it. It's important to understand what's actually happening. Now, he can also upload files to Kaspersky's website, which would automatically detect that the file is malicious. Now, the problem you might get is some of these files might be large in size. And you can see here the file limit size on Kaspersky's website is 256 megabytes. Now, this file is only small, so it's going to allow me to upload it. But sometimes what they do is they pack them inside another file, which is a basically padded out with a bunch of uh, zeros so that the file has not actually got any content in it apart from that malicious file, and it makes it a super large file say, for instance, 500 megabytes or something along those lines, and they know that people then can't upload it to sites like uh, VirusTotal or, uh, you know, Kaspersky's website to get it scanned. And that's important because, as you can see here, it detected that file as a malicious file. So if someone is sending you attachments in emails, then you shouldn't be clicking on them to open them. You should either be scanning them first or uploading them to another site to get them scanned to make sure they are safe. Now, having layered security like an antivirus program is also important because that's going to scan your emails as they come in uh, to your computer. And it will also detect malicious files on there. So it's just another layer of security. 
Now you can right click on these and scan them manually as well by just right clicking on them and scanning them. And you can see straight away, this has now been detected and it's automatically uh, cleaned it off my system. This is important that people remember that having an antivirus installed on your computer is another layer of security and it's going to protect you. Now, remember, some of the free versions of antiviruses will not scan your inbox or your mail, whereas this one detected it straight away when I right clicked and scanned on it. But if you haven't got some sort of premium service like the ESET Internet Security or another premium antivirus software which will scan your emails. And this is important because obviously for someone like Linus or myself that's getting a lot of emails, obviously he's probably getting way more than what I'm getting because he's a way bigger YouTuber. But having uh, these being scanned as they come in can help. Uh, sort of weed out a lot of these and also setting up a nice filter system in your inbox so it filters off a lot of spam and a lot of other stuff to stop your staff from clicking on things is important you shouldn't have too many people now only giving certain people access to certain privileges will reduce the risk of being infected in the future so maybe this email here someone already could have clicked on this but as you can see the antivirus program has scanned it and found it and deleted it straight away and this is probably another one of those red line sort of files that are wanting you to click on a contract or some sort of uh, pdf file in the actual attachment and it will literally once you click on it it's done it's too late and it's on your system waiting for you to go onto your browser and uh, look at the YouTube channel. And once you're logging in, it will capture all of that session uh, cookie information. And basically they will have full control of your YouTube account and they will kick you out and they will then start causing destruction, maybe deleting all your videos, closing your account down, loads of other malicious stuff. Now, of course, this also is used for banking and other nasties like that, where they can actually gain access to your bank and also get money from your account. So it's not just YouTube, but we are talking about YouTube today because obviously of Linus Tech Tips being taken down so easily. Now remember, links also can be disguised with text. So you should be scanning all of the links to make sure they are not malicious. These are obviously domains that you can scan and you can see this one is a malicious link. And you can see here, this is uh, obviously a nasty uh, link that they might send you and they want you to click on it and this is another way of gaining information about you so don't go clicking on links inside of emails now one of the biggest problems is videos like this on my channel just don't get the exposure that they should get and that means a lot of people don't see them i don't get two million uh, views per video like linus does and the problem is if you're making videos like this to try and get awareness out there it just doesn't get the views and that's the biggest problem if people could see it they wouldn't fall foul to it in the future and uh, the more exposure we get to this the better it is for everyone so as you can see here google even have their own safe browsing site and you can type in the url inside here and push enter and it will tell you that the site is dodgy and it takes a split second to quickly copy and paste the link in there and do a quick check on it so that's important also. So these sort of sites are essential for checking URLs and domain names to make sure that they are of good reputation. You can use sites like this, Website Reputation Checker. This will also check. And you can also upload all of your attachments to those other sites to make sure. Have antivirus programs running on your system that's checking your mailbox. Set up a good filter system to filter out all of the spam and all of the junk. And also restrict the amount of staff that have access to that YouTube account and also make sure that account can only be accessed on a super clean computer that doesn't have all your emails going into it that could be infected from the outside world, you know, and make it a very restricted sort of PC that doesn't do anything but just logging into YouTube. And that way you won't fall foul to this sort of hack. There's quite a lot of things you can do to protect yourself. And again, uh, this is quite a common problem and it's not unusual. Now, another thing you can do uh, is to do a search on the domain name itself. And you could search something like this, 
where it says who is domain lookup. And normally a lot of these dodgy domain names that they send you are brand new. And you can see it here. This one has been created just recently. And that's a telltale sign that this is not a legitimate company and it hasn't been around a long time. And I would just be very careful if that is the case. Now, I know this is quite a lot of things that you should be doing, but this is the world we live in now. And you have to be super vigilant on what you're doing online and what you're clicking on, because if you're not, you are going to fall foul to it. And this could be ransomware or anything like that, something that you click on. And guess what? It will encrypt everything and mess up your whole life. And that's why we have to be super careful. Now, this is what's happening. basically. If you look here at the web browser uh, pass view, this will give you all of your usernames and passwords that are stored on that system on them browsers. And this is exactly what they're getting. They're getting all this information and, uh, and this is how they get the information to log into your account. This is all captured by the malware that they install onto your system, which is probably something like Redline or something like that, which is then doing a session hijack on your computer. So if you're getting dodgy emails like this, then just don't click on them. It's just not worth it. And you're going to end up paying the price just like Linus Tech Tips did. And unfortunately, you know, no one deserves that sort of headache, really. And remember, you might not be as fortunate to get your YouTube channel back as quick as what Linus did, which was probably less than a 24 hours or something like that. Whereas you might take months because I've seen people having to wait months to get their account back up and running. But when you're a big YouTuber, that sort of changes things a little bit. So just be very careful out there, guys. If you do see this video and you do share it with other people, make sure you share it on your social media so other people get to see it. Because I don't get the exposure like Linus does. And again, more people that see this, less people will fall for this particular type of hack. Now, if I'm brutally honest, I'm pretty surprised that this actually happened to someone like Linus Tech Tips or someone of that size of company. And probably a little bit of negligence there crept in and it's cost him, but it hasn't cost him too dearly because he's managed to get it all back up. And it's fortunate enough that uh, that's happened. I'm glad he's back, but you've got to be so careful out there because sometimes you just never know the sort of destruction that someone could do and it may not be possible to get it back in the future. So you just got to be super careful. Now, a lot of people jumped on the bandwagon straight away to try and get a trending video on the word Linus Tech Tips. But I didn't really want to do that because I wanted to wait to see what had actually happened because no one really knew. The only person knew was Linus Tech Tips. And now we do know that it was actually some sort of session hijack where he's logged in and he's downloaded something from an attachment and installed it. And it's probably something like Redline where he's got himself infected and they have now got his uh, session cookie information and logged in and deleted all these videos so anyway i hope you didn't mind me putting your name in the title there linus i'm very sorry but it had to be done to get more exposure and hopefully more people will see this and they won't fall foul to it like you did anyway my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members i appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.